This is Azerbaijan, it's called the land of fire Where oil flows like honey, nothing sweeter than my money I can play the sazo, plus a samehana Walking down the boulevard to check out Foxy Mama hey, Mr. Pop <laughs> Walking through the buzzer, they be calling our name. A shub Timo, Taz a beat, it's a life of fame. In Baku, where everyone is Caspian dreaming, we all got that feeling. Cause now you're in Baku. The streets are all brand new. The child will hydrate you. Let's hear it from Baku, Baku. They're enormously proud people, and uh, it is a very, very young, developing country. The, the football side is a reflection of the society because, you know, it doesn't stand outside of um, the society. It's got to be built at the same time. We're on the bay, basically. And behind me is Baku the, um, and the Caspian Sea, and uh, yeah, beautiful day. I hear it's raining in London, so. Um, yeah, this is where we're at. We're in. Welcome to Azerbaijan. I brought you here um, to see the Russian linesman, who wasn't Russian. Um, it was Azeri by birth. And there was a great big statue up here outside uh, the National Stadium. Um, but they've put it, put it out the way while they reconstructed the whole stadium, basically. Um, so he is not there anymore, and the running joke for the Azerbaijanis is that they won the World Cup for us in in '66, and it, it was in England that won it. It was it was uh, good old Tofik, I think his name was. You know the old Soviet days; it's gone. I think you know that they, there's they have transforming the country. They're transforming the stadiums. They're transforming the football. They're building their own football culture that's what they're doing and whether it's off the pitch or on the pitch um, that process is you can read really, under construction I came to this country to build even bigger project in Gabala is to build a whole football club I played 20 odd years at Arsenal, you know, I've never, you know, I got in my car, went around the M25 and, and parked up at London County every day. I didn't have much of an adventure and this, this is an adventure. This club, because of the vision of the chairman and the wealth of the chairman, you knew that he could deliver. You know, I knew that change could happen. Welcome to Kabbalah! Here we are! And we're going to do a sag, on a sole, sag, jog sal. Thank you very much. Thanks. This road wasn't here. Just wasn't here. You know, they've laid the tarmac, the buildings, when I got here, the walls, nothing, absolutely nothing was actually here. And as we go through, there's a, a park on the right hand side here, where the supporters gather for chai, uh, about a, two hours before the match. There's not many of them, but they're very, very vocal and very uh, passionate. And this will be, on the left now, the next entrance. Uh, and, and this is the entrance to the stadium. The car park will be on the left-hand side. Um, so we drive down now a little bit. Um, the disused goals, uh, where the old football pitch used to be, is on the left. So the stadium will be exactly there on the left-hand side. And you can see behind it um, the... Uh, uh, the pitch that they're using now, and also the three quarters indoor arena. Salam Malik.
Oh, look, this is a good starting point. So when I came here, this, 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 this wasn't here. Nothing, nothing was here. This was the, uh, a grass pitch that they used through their 2000, their early days, 2005, um, when they were an amateur team and, and uh, turning professional. And there was a grass pitch here and it was bobbly and unwatered and um, it's horrific. And, and, but it, it, it was a grass and we, we went round the pitch to try and find areas that we could actually utilise and, and use. So within you know, a relatively short space of time in the last two years, they've put a synthetic in here, a little, little one for the young players under 10s probably to do a little bit there. Grass, grass, grass. They've turned this into grass and the dome's up, so. 4v4s, sort it out himself, let him play. <laughs> These boys are very proud to be from this region and having this opportunity of this fantastic facility. And yes, there is an elitist thing about it as well, where actually if you're a good enough son, off you go to the academy, you know, and, and in the academy you get you get fed, you get dressed, you get prepared, you have a, a really fantastic upbringing. You get put into the into the local school um, education, you know. So it, it, there is huge benefits for um, a talented young player in, in this region. You know, I really loved coming through the RC Academy. I had some fantastic coaches. Um, and even like now, the academies in Arsenal, Man United, you know, there's so many players that have come through those systems. And they go, he's come from the Arsenal Academy. I wanted to really introduce that with Kabbalah. They are very proud people. And I want you know, five years down the road, which will happen, there'll be players from the Gabala Academy playing for all different teams in Azerbaijan and they'll go, you can see that kid, he came through the Gabala Academy. <laughs> And when you strike gold for this young coach up here, who actually has played for the Azerbaijan national team, and he has played for Gabala region, and he knows the club inside out, and he is a good coach, if you can get that at every age group, you will produce, I guarantee you, you produce the best players in Azerbaijan, and they'll come from Gabala, without doubt. Really got the feel of it now that actually it's a Gabala working project, but there's actually short term and long term objectives. And the short term is actually to try and get the best out of these bunch of guys that I inherited and, and put a few <laughs> newer ones to improve it a little bit as we went along with the with the longer project of the academy and getting this this club and uh, sorted out and the stadium built. seslenir. Kapıya zerbe ve top kapıdan keşir 1-0. Yannik Kavaralı'ndan tora gönderir Gebele 1-0. We're right above the dugout where the coach is and I'd have been probably in there six months ago and I just feel that in the role that I'm in now actually I can do more of a job because not only can I can do a little bit and help Happy Wicked kind of team, I can also help with what's going on over the other side in respect of the new academy building. Just that's where that's going to go with the pitch. And in the distance, uh, ready for 2014, it's going to even be better, it's going to be the new stadium.
Ötüvedir kapı karşısına. Yes. Başla zerbe. It's in. Oh. Perfect timing. We said that. It was. Perfect. Ah. 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 I thought I might feel a little bit strange um, coming back here, but maybe because I'm still associated to the club and helping them to achieve their goal, maybe that's why I feel so great that they've just won 4-0 and they're doing well and the players that I brought to the club are, are still happy to see me and, uh, and I've met some really, really sharp cookies, you know, as well, really professional, great people that they've got here in Gabala, you know. Um, that's why it's going to happen. That's why it's going to be delivered. I had a great time, great experience. I was off on an adventure and I got one. I, I couldn't be happier at the moment, to be honest with you. Uh, about my feeling with uh, Kabbalah Football Club. Oh,